got an email asking about handwriting for Mother's Day. It is Thursday, May 8th. Mother's Day is Sunday, so some of y'all are cutting it close. All right, so they asked about specifically handwriting. So I'm going to do an easy example, and I'm going to do a less than easy example uh, because the easy example, hopefully you have these options. So you are going to need a PNG file. You're just gonna take a picture of the writing or have somebody take a picture as clean of a picture as they can get in really good lighting. You're gonna import it. I always say display it in the original size. I'm going to need to turn mine and make it quite a bit smaller. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is crop it because we have a lot of noise around this. So we just hit the crop and we pull it all down right to the edges of what we're working with. Super quick, super simple. That's our first edit. Now our second edit can start with one of two things. It can start with this adjust or it can start with the cutout feature in XCX 2.6. So if you're starting with adjust, you could up the brightness. Now what that's done is it's grayed out some of our writing, you can try and make it a little bit darker or a little bit um, more dense, I should say. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I would not start here when you are working with paper. Um, so actually, I'm just going to hit undo and then that'll be done. Okay. Let me go back to our original. So we're starting. Okay. So this was our original. We have a lot of good pieces. When you're looking at the writing, just in case you're quoting this stuff out, this is really good. It's written very thick. It's got a lot of wiggles and bumps, which you will get, or you can edit out easily. So instead of starting with the adjust like we do with images, we're gonna go ahead and start immediately with this cutout. Now, I had specific questions about a couple of features, so I'm going to talk about those. The first one is AI cutout, should you use it? This does require real money. So uh, if you purchase these credits, it will cost you six to get this edit. Sometimes that's gonna be your best friend, it's gonna be worth it. If you wanna know how to do it on your own, on something like writing, go to manual cutout. There's two features in here, magic wand, which is AI assisted uh, editing. And then there's eraser, which is literally and you erasing things. I'm gonna remove that. Now specifically, if we're inside of the magic wand, we have this option called fuzziness and we have something called continue, good gracious, contiguous. So first and foremost, fuzziness has nothing to do with your picture it has everything to do with the outline nearest your quote focal item. So if we increase fuzziness, let's start with here. Let's increase fuzziness very, very high, leaving contiguous on. I am on magic wand and I click in this general space. So what it's going to do is it's going to say, oh, I'm going to get as tight to the focal area, which is our lettering, that I can. So if I undo that, go back to my original and then drop it ridiculously low, let's go two, and I click the same area, it's going to have a sort of haze or outline or halo around it with the, it's actually not even working. You see how it's not even working. Let's go up here. So I wanted to get a, enough fuzziness where it would, okay. So you see now it's actually removing some of the background, but it has this halo of color around it. Sometimes that's good, especially if you're working with photos. Sometimes it's not good. So I gotta make sure I'm all the way back. Okay, so in something like this, we do want a high level of fuzziness because it's gonna get as tight to all of these edges as possible. Now contiguous on something like this where it's a very clean background, you're gonna wanna leave that on because it's gonna say, see how this color yellow greenish is different than this color yellow greenish right here and it's all very different than this dark shaded area down here so what it's going to say is i'm going to every time you tap a color i'm going to remove every instance of that color so where this is great is on things like this paper where it's bad is maybe in a photo so depending on what you're actually working with 
you may not want fuzzy or contiguous to be on. Fuzziness, you may want to be high. Contiguous will depend because I definitely want contiguous on for this page because it's going to take away, if not all the color, 99% of the color. Yes, ma'am. All right. So now I'm just going to go in here and tap on these little areas and hit confirm. So now I have a pretty clean image. Now notice in your layers panel, it is still an image over here in your processing menu, still an image. This means it cannot be scored. It cannot be cut. It can only be engraved. This may be fine for whatever it is you're working on. Maybe you're making an ornament or shelf sitter or a wooden card. That would be fine for this. But let's say you would like to cut this out and like have the kid put it together like a little card or puzzle or whatever. Then you can actually go to trace. So inside of trace, we have multiple options. I'm going to tell you that it will always make a copy of your image here. So you don't have to worry about duplicating this because anything you do for a trace will actually create a new layer. So the two questions you can look at the very first are tracing uh, parameters. The first is auto trace. Let me scooch in. Auto is going to put an outside line on your focal point. So outside of this uh, O, outside of this Y, it is following it pretty well. You can increase or decrease the noise depending on your image. We have a very clean image, so we don't really need to do that. And again, you can increase or decrease the fuzziness as well to see if you want all of these fun little details in here or not. Again, smoothness is something when you're working with handwriting specifically, you probably want it on the highest uh, that you can get, which is actually one. So if you type in, it's not going to make a big difference in our piece right here, but it can in other ones. Now, layering by color isn't really applicable here. It will be on some pretty more intense images, especially if you're dealing with photos or PNGs that have multiple colors. So I'm going to go ahead and save this without talking about centerline tracing. And this one is going to be auto or outline trace. Okay. Now what we're looking at here is actually two things. If we turn off the image layer, you can now see this is what we have because this is set to score. So right now, if you wanted to score this, this is exactly what you would get an outline of the writing. If you want to engrave it, it looks again like exactly what we got from the picture. And again, if you want to cut it, it looks exactly like the score, except it will cut. Now I'm going to change that color. I'm going to go back to my image and show you the difference in the tracing. So again, I've turned that off. I'm back on my original image. And if you ever rename stuff, and you don't know if it's an image, look over here in processing and it will show you. Now for trace. So if we go from auto trace, which is those outside lines, let me zoom in quite a bit. Instead of these outside lines, you're going to get a single line and it will go right down the center of your focal point. So for that, it's each of these letters, right? However, it's going to lose a lot. Let me show you. If you click this, it's going to come up with a very wiggly line all the way from there to there and a wiggly line all the way from there to there. I'm just going to go ahead and hit save because you don't really have much adjustment that you can do. I'm going to turn that off and you can see here, but you see that Y, boy, it looks like a river runs through it, right? So the good news is that if you really do need a score, you can click on this and go to edit. So if you only want one line down to your Y, you can remove it. If Just FYI, if you are pricing things, engraving is going to be the better and the cheaper. You can still come in here because these are vectors, right? If you ungroup these and you wanted to edit just this Y, you can still come in here and you can edit this instead of having these weirdo bumps at the bottom. You can just take these out and now you got a nice curved little Y at the bottom. You can do that still when you're doing a an engraving. When you're doing a score and you're pricing things, engraving is going to be a lot faster to edit than you're doing an uh, center line trace. It is just one of those things. It's, if you're new to pricing this stuff out 
and they request a thin line or a score, just know that you may have to be editing it a lot. So I gave you the easy example, right? So this, this all right here is the easiest way uh, you can see all this, right? Let's do a harder example, and I'm just going to do the exact same steps. You won't have to learn anything new. All of the process is the same. So right now, here is our engraving. It is not as pretty as when it's written with something thick like a Sharpie or a marker. So you already have a lot of texture. You already have a lot of noise. So if now if we go into trace and we do our auto trace because we're going to engrave it, we increase our smoothness. I'm not going to mess with noise because I actually don't see a lot of noise. And you see how close and in line this is? The fuzziness threshold isn't really going to adjust how well that is captured this because it's still going to be quite bumpy and it, that, that's not going to matter. But so now we're going to have in our layers panel, our original image. This is our auto trace. Let's turn that off. Let's go back to our image, go to trace, go to center tracing. Let me scooch in a bit. You'll see. This is going to be so much work to edit. And it doesn't look like it here, but trust me. When we turn off our image and you come in here, that is going to look like crap and it's not going to re resemble here let me show you so it's not going to resemble the original you see how different these here well let me try that just where we can look at the you the word you so this doesn't look that auto trace doesn't look as much like grandma's handwriting as this engraving again you can offer whatever you want to your clients but this will require you to do a lot more editing of a score than an engrave so when you're pricing things you may be only thinking well engraving is going to take more time so i'll have to quote it higher not necessarily because all the extra time may be spent in trying to clean up grandma's writing for a score. If you have any questions, drop them down below. As always, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe.